Today, we'll be installing the Skinomi screw protector for the Transformer Pad TF300. The instructions and tips found in this video can also be applied to any Skinomi screen, whether it be for a cell phone or tablet. The directions and advice found here will especially help in the prevention of imperfections while demonstrating how quickly and easy it is to install a Skinomi screen. Each Skinomi kit includes everything you'll need. Instructions, installation solution, a lint-free cloth, and of course, your new Skinomi protector. First, prepare a dust and lint-free workspace. Any dust, pet hair, or lint found in your workspace may get under your screen during installation. To prevent this, find and create a clean workspace before installing. Remember to wash your hands thoroughly before handling your device and screen. Next, turn off your device before installation, and if possible, remove the battery. In the case the battery of your device is embedded and not removable, for example, Apple iPhones or iPads, Android devices like the HTC One X, or like our case here for the Transformer Pad TF300, turning your device off is sufficient. Apply some installation solution onto your microfiber cloth. Then wipe down your device, clearing any streaks, oil, dust, or grime. Once you are satisfied and your device is clean, lay it down on a flat clean surface. Identify any cutouts, such as speaker, sensor, or front camera cuts, and match them with your device. Each Skinomi screen is custom designed to fit your device. In our case here, note the front facing camera and the light sensor. This installation solution is very safe and non-toxic. It is designed to help prevent fingerprints, bubbles, and imperfections. This is a soapy type solution and it will not damage your device or leave any stick residue. Apply some installation solution on your fingers like so before handling the screen protector. Please remember, do not handle the screen directly if your fingers are dry. Touching the back portion of your screen with dry fingers will leave unwanted fingerprints. Now, apply a layer of insulation solution onto the top portion of the screen protector as seen here. This top layer of solution will reduce friction when using your insulation squeegee or card and will prevent the screen from stretching or warping. Now, carefully lift a corner of the screen. And then, apply another even layer of insulation solution onto the backing of your protector. Please, make sure you have an even and complete layer of insulation solution on the back portion of your screen. At this point, carefully lay your screen down slowly onto your device as shown here. If done correctly, the film should slide freely on the surface of your device. This should make alignment very easy. If somehow you cannot easily move your screen around, you may need to reapply an additional coat of insulation solution. If so, carefully lift your screen from your device and reapply another coat. Once you are satisfied with the alignment of your screen, use one hand to hold down the film to prevent it from moving. With your other hand, squeegee out the solution by starting from the center of the screen, then moving to the edges of the device, as seen here. Please be sure not to squeegee any insulation solution onto any open cutouts. We recommend letting your screen set for at least 12 to 24 hours if possible. As mentioned earlier, this is a recommendation. If you can't go a few hours without your device, please install the screen protector at night before going to bed. In the morning, your screen should be safely set and ready to go. This concludes this Skinomi installation video. We hope this installation video has been helpful to you.